All right, we're doing another one at my brother's shop today. Uh, this is our second one for today. I am Scanner Danner, by the way, also known as Paul Danner. My brother is James Danner. I'll call him Danner. A bunch of Danners around. Caleb Danner is behind the camera. So we have Danner, Danner, and Danner. We are working on a 2006 Cadillac DTS that had a recent repair of a right front wheel speed sensor and we're still setting wheel speed sensor faults. And my brother said, hey, Paul, can you look at that real quick for me before you leave? So this wasn't really scheduled for us. We're hoping this is a quick one. Let's see if we can identify this right front wheel speed sensor fault. There's our code, a C0040 right front wheel speed sensor circuit fault. All right, let's pull up our data. Just interested in my wheel speed sensors. Did you have this unplugged, Danner? Yeah, he unplugged it and started looking at it. But I know some of these run on voltage, and you can see like two volts either way. Okay. But we, we fixed it way up here. Right here, there was a broken wire. Okay, I see You it. know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't know if Ow. it... Ow! Ow! I did the same <laughs> thing. I just smacked my head off the same side at the same time. Okay, so you have this unplugged. Let me plug this back in. I should be able to make this... Give me a mile per hour. Okay, that's right rear. This one? Left rear. That's both fronts. So right now they are both functional. Right now it's making a signal. He didn't say it was intermittent. Just back probing the speed sensor itself. Trust my ground. So about a half a volt on that wire. And zero volts on that wire. Half a volt. Not making good connection here. There we go. All right, what we can do is as we turn that, that makes an AC sine wave. But what we can do is we can use that half volt bias to help us with a wiring harness issue. So I'm gonna look real close at the harness. Look for contact points. This, this repair right there, that's where our problem's at. Right in the same spot. Dinner. It? Yeah, it's your repair. Lou? Your repair is awful. We can blame Lou? Yeah, we're going to blame Wait, Lou. Wait, I might have been premature. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Um, just to give you guys an idea of what we're dealing with here, this is biased voltage on these sensors. Even though they make their own voltage, there is a constant DC bias that's sent to these that are used for diagnostics. So watch what happens when I unplug this sensor. It should jump to either 2.5 or five volts when I unplug this. Five. Went off the screen, let's pull that down. Change that to a 10 volt. Okay, so five, five volts unplugged. That's your bias voltage. And then with a good sensor plugged in, it drops that bias voltage down to a specific level. Every car is gonna be different what you see. In our case, we're at about a half a volt. And then you can use that to, instead of spinning the wheel, right? We spin the wheel, we make an AC sine wave again. Instead of spinning the wheel and looking for dropouts, you use your bias line to look for a dropout. And that's all I was doing. I'm just moving the harness in a way that's showing me brakes. And that brake is on, you see that, that jump up, that spike right there. Let's just make sure that it's not back further and that it is in fact this previous repair. Yeah, it's like right there. Almost feels like the wires. Let's see. Yeah, this side of it right here. Like the wire's broken right there. Right where my thumb. I'll I'll put I'll move it with this finger. It's right here, right there, right there. Something else to consider when you're looking at these is you can have a break. Hold on a second. Let's see which wire I'm on. I'm on the green wire. You can have a break 
on the green wire or the, in this case it's yellow, either side. So you wanna monitor both when you're doing this, but this is, this is definitely right here. I have no voltage at all now because it's, five, it's gonna be five on this side. It's weird because that, it's like not broken. But see all my 500 millivolts went away. And if I unplug this sensor now, I'm not going to see five anymore because my brake is on, is on this, is on this side. It's on this side right here. So I'm going to poke the wire because I'm, it's going to be replaced. But what you're going to see is we're going to see five volts on this side. Again, this part's going to be stripped back and replaced. Okay. So I got, I still have nothing there. So it's, we, we threw uh, Louie under the bus and it's not his, not his fault, I don't think. We had five on the green one before, right? It was the green wire we were on. Let's go on this side of it. Yeah, okay, we're good. It was the green wire. It wasn't Louie's fault, Danner. Okay, I wanted to throw him under the bus. I did too. It's e always easier to throw the new guy under the bus. It's Somebody else repaired this in the past. It's right here in the middle. It actually, it's, it's act, you can see where the, where it's thinner right there. And this is heat shrink. Somebody fixed this before, but this is where it's broken right here, right, right in the middle. You see, we're, we're reading five there, close to five. And then if I go on the other side of the break, which is here, you see we're at zero, we got nothing. And this is all gonna get replaced, so don't worry about the holes I'm poking. So there's five right there. And then there's zero right there. Five right there. It's broken right, right there. Our task is done. Don't forget about using bias voltage in your diagnostics. You'll find this all throughout the car on all kinds of different circuits. You'll see it on oxygen sensors. You'll see it on output circuits. You'll see it on input circuits, pressure sensors and potentiometers. You'll see it also on wheel speed sensors and cam and crank sensors, especially when we're using the variable reluctance type sensor that makes its own voltage, makes a AC sine wave you saw as I was spinning the wheel. You guys want more training on this kind of stuff? This is the stuff I'm teaching, Scanner Danner Premium. All of those sensors and circuits I mentioned, I cover this bias voltage, how to use it um, in a diagnostic process. It's hard to talk about it, but it's easy to use it once you understand it's there. That's the principles we just applied to this open circuit right there. Piece of cake. We're done. Hope you guys learned something. We'll see you next time.